This video is about different types of views you will come across various engineering drawings. Well, we are going to discuss top view, front view, side view and section views in this video, if you have any query please comment and let me know. To access various views across my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. To start with, let us consider the object in the first quadrant. If you want to know more about quadrants, then check out my video named Geometric Dimensioning and Torrencing 2.0. First, we are going to look at the top view. To get a better illustration, we are going to draw the top view onto the 3D model of the object, then place this view on the horizontal plane, and then compare this view with the view on our drawing. In other words, we are going to validate this view, and try to understand the engineer's language who have drawn this drawing, and make sense of the logic behind this drawing. Top view is the view, you get when you look at the object from the top, so when we look at this object from the top, then we are going to see these edges only. Now I am going to swap the camera to the top of the object, and redraw these edges. So from this view, which is the top view of the object, again we are going to draw these edges. When you look closely, only these edges are visible from this view. As seen on the screen, you can see these edges follow the arrow, to put in words, we can see the outline of the object. Two circles, one at this location, and the other at this location. Then we can see this steps, the bigger step and then the smaller step. So it is so obvious that from this view, we cannot measure the depth of circle, and the depth of the steps, these features are visible in side view and front view. Now, let's place these edges, on the horizontal plane, which gives us the top view of this object. Alright, now we are going to compare this top view with the one which we have on the drawing. As you can see, our drawn top view exactly matches the top view on this engineering drawing. Now we are going to look at the front view, so obviously, the front view of the object is to be taken from the front of the object. Let's draw the edges, which are visible in the front view. Take note, this edge is although curved, in the front view, it will be seen as a straight edge, as illustrated. Also, note that some of the engineers might have met this edge. Now we'll move the camera, to take the front view of the object. Now again we'll place the visible edges from this view, as discussed earlier. There you go, we have our front view of this object. We'll place this view onto the vertical plane, to get the better view as seen on the engineering drawing. We will compare this view, with our view on the engineering drawing. So now we know, how the front view is drawn. If you have noted, we still can't determine the depth of those steps which we discussed whilst drawing the top view, so next, we are going to look at the side view. To take the side view, and to determine the features of those steps, let's take a look at the object from the side. For this object, the side view will be taken from this side of the object. Let's place the edges, which will be visible from this side of the object. There we have all the edges visible from this view. Now taking a look at the object from the side view. Which is similar to the front view, relocate the edges as illustrated on the screen. There we have our side view of the object, from which we can figure out the depth features of these steps. Let us place this view on a vertical plane, as seen in the engineering drawing. Now we will compare this side view with our side view on the drawing. 
As expected, it exactly matches with our drawing. Here we have our three views of the object, that is top view, front view, and side view. Most of the time these three views are enough to manufacture a part, but in some cases, these three views do not give the details of entire features of the object. For example, in this case, we cannot determine the depth of the holes from any of these three views, also some features which are hidden inside the object. So, to detail these features, engineers draw section views of the object, at locations which will give us a clear picture of all the hidden features of the object. Considering this example, we have three section views provided which are, section XX, section Y, Y and section ZZ. These views will give us details of features like depth of the whole feature and dimensions of internal features. To get a section view, I am going to cut the object into a section, at the location defined in the previously referred engineering drawing. To start with, first we'll cut the object to get the section XX. As you can see, a saw is used to cut the section, as seen on the screen. There we have the cut section of the object. Now we are going to look at this section, normal to its surface, or at 90 degrees to the surface, in the same way, as we did to look at the front and side view. Note that, in this view, we will see these edges of the object and these hatch lines at an angle to indicate that it is a section of the object. Well in industry, sometimes these hatch lines are omitted for a clear definition of the features. Now, taking a look at this section from normal to this section. Again we'll place these visible edges, as illustrated on the screen. And there we have our final view of section XX. We'll place this view on a vertical plane, as seen on the engineering drawing. In the same way, next we'll cut the object to get the section YY view, as illustrated on the screen. Now we will place the edges, which will be visible when we look at this section from a position normal to it. As illustrated, we will see only these edges, in the section view. Let's take a look at this section from a view normal to this section, to get the sectioned YY view. With these visible edges in place, we can see the final sectioned YY view. Placing this view onto the vertical plane, as seen on the engineering drawing. In the same way, we had cut the sections of the object to get the previous two views, we are going to cut this section of the object to get the section ZZ as illustrated on the screen. After the cut, we have our final section view of the object. Now, let's locate the visible edges of this section, which are visible when viewed from the normal position to the section. As illustrated, only these edges of this section will be visible, in the section view. Taking a look at this section from its normal position. As seen, only these edges are visible from this position. So, we have our the final view of section ZZ. Placing this view onto the horizontal plane, as seen on the engineering drawing. There we have all the views of this object, which gives us all the information of the object. Hope, the concept of top view, front view, side view, and section view is clear from this video. Rearranging these views, to exactly match the location on our engineering drawing. Coming to the end of this video, I hope it was informative and useful. Look out for my more video on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon.